Hey guys, Ryan Coop here uh, with another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking specifically at Pepper. Uh, and I want to share with you guys something that seems to work pretty well for me. Uh, the game of Zumba. You really need to know your own strategy though and, and how you play the game. Uh, not all items are right for every single person. Some are going to work great for one person and not work good for another. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple of my favorites. And then really just how to use Pepper in general here. Hi. So the items that I like to use on Pepper, uh, I like the snorkel. Uh, Pepper's not the fastest animal, so that allows her to get into the water. It almost acts like a shell that Shelly has. Uh, it helps protect you. Uh, adrenaline shot, that way you don't have to worry about looking at your health packs and when to use them and when not. Uh, lets you focus on fighting and defending. Uh, nitro spear give your spear some more range uh, that one's very important to me because the spear will auto aim uh, so you just have to tap it so that way you can attack faster uh, and then cluster bomb that way when you throw your bomb you can get two hits for the price of one uh, this is my ideal setup for pepper depending on who i'm playing with i will use vampire teeth uh, depending if I'm doing a duo and who they're using for that character. Uh, because that, then I may not need uh, to go into the water. And I can then use the vampire teeth uh, to get more health. So we'll get into it here and I'll uh, kind of show you guys where we're at. And we're just going to start really wherever it puts us. And we're just going to play it uh, and see see what happens. <laughs> so we should be able to get off to a good start here not a lot of characters next to us uh, you need to be careful uh, when those characters have coffee so we're going to get this uh, he stole our spear so we're going to try and hit him with a bomb going to protect ourselves in the water here get this bow and definitely want to make sure that I get a good spear Alright, so we're going to try and avoid that shark. We're going to hit this molly, avoid this bomb, get that better bow. So I don't know if you guys caught that, but one thing I like to do, you aim with the bow when they're far away, you shoot and then you tap the spear right away. Mollies are a little bit harder to hit uh, because they are so quick. Alright, we got him. We're going to need to watch out for this guy. He is probably going to kill us. So this is where the snorkel becomes really important here because we can try to avoid his hits, but he was on to us. Um, it's not a good start. Alright, let's run another one here. Lost 12 trophies. Let's do it again. <clears throat> so hopefully we get into a situation where I can show you where the snorkel really works well. Uh, had we not had the snorkel, he would have killed us a lot quicker, so that can keep you involved in the game more. What I probably should have did there uh, was try to get away from him, uh, and cross the river, and then keep crossing and stay in the water and move as far away from him as I possibly could. Until I had some health packs because I had no real defenses there. So we're going to kill this guy, get a health pack and a bomb, get off to a nice start. So for me when I'm playing, most important thing here uh, is going to be the health pack. Because if you don't have a health pack, you're going to die. Weapons are going to be equally as important because uh, you need good weapons to be able to fight. We're going to try and scare this fox away from us so we can get closer to this water. Stay away from this guy. Bruce's uh, are probably the animals that I hate the most when I'm using Pepper. Uh, when they got those jungle boots, because if they get right up on you, when they are far away, not a problem. You can pick them off easy. So you just have to avoid them getting really close to you. Alright, we got the fire coming in at us. Make sure no one's hiding in this barrel. Alright, so we're going to check this map. Alright, so we are going to try and cut through the igloo down here. Ooh. 
the big thing, you know, the, the main purpose of the game and the goal is to get the most trophies. So, you get trophies by staying alive the longest. So it's not necessarily about how many kills you get. Uh, that's it's kind of irrelevant. Um, I've gotten first place and you know, won 30 trophies with some of my lower levels uh, with only one kill, just killing the very last person. So the biggest thing is stay alive. So I like to take a balanced approach to my fighting and I like to defend just as much as I attack. I know some people like to just do all out attacks and they're just going after people all the time, but I like to make sure that I can defend myself. So anytime I enter a building, I'm going to use that to clear the space. I don't know what that is. There's a Bruce. We're going to try and keep him away from us. Uh, not let him get to... So then here in the water, and then I can pop out, drop a bomb, shoot a spear. And he can't really do much as long as I don't let him get too close to me there. So he should have no health packs left. That's why he's running. I'll let that Bruce take him out. This guy is going to be the problem. So if we end up losing, guarantee it's going to be to this level 12 Bruce here with his jungle shoots trying to run up on us. So just got to be strategic, avoid him, hit him with the spear and the bomb. He's gonna, there we go, he should have no health packs left. Get one there. That's all right. Suck those out of him. Get in the water. Avoid him there. Pop up over here. So this really comes down to timing with the snorkel here. Um, want to avoid his bombs and his jumping. And he got us. Really ran out of water there. Uh, vampire teeth would have been helpful in that situation to help me get some more life to stay alive longer so here is what we're going to do so we are going to replace the spear with the teeth <clears throat> and this is really going to give us a lot of uh, defense so this is going to be a more defensive approach so any shot we get we're going to get a little bit more health we're going to try and protect ourselves more And we got that snorkel in there still, too. <laughs> Alright, so this will be good. We got a spear right here. We'll try and kill this guard. This fox is going to come and steal that health pack. So we got to know our area, know who's around us. Got out of there without taking any hits to our health. This fox should be... Oh, no. no. I thought for sure he would have took that. Alright, so this little Joey's going to try and take our stuff, so we're just going to pick off this Molly real quick. Let's see, she ran. Alright, we're going to grab this bomb. I'm going to avoid that Bruce. Another really effective strategy is you can kind of just sit back here in the water and I'm safe. Um, I don't have to worry about someone coming after me with that shark and that shelly and that pepper that were all over there. So we're going to want to avoid... The Shelly here. I really want one of those bombs. So we are going to try and get away from Shelly. 
She's got the advantage at this point. No, she does not. So, if someone's really good, you gotta be careful, because they're gonna sit there and they're gonna try and just pick you off. Uh, it's better to pop up in the bushes, so that way you can try to avoid that. We're running really low on health here. So we're gonna just pop up behind this barrel, and then we're gonna try and stay behind that barrel. Alright, so we made a clean getaway. Um, so this is where I say it really all, it's all, it's all strategy. Um, you gotta pick your battles, you can't just fight everybody. Hopefully, get this shark. And he got me, I couldn't get to the water in time. Uh, I had a couple bad shots there, so I couldn't pick him off. Um, so these are not going very well. <laughs> Losing quite a bit of trophies. Um, probably about 30 or so. We're gonna run one more. This will be our fourth and final solo that we're gonna run. So we have no weapons, we're going to get this bomb, we're going to avoid that legendary guard right now because that legendary bomb can take away a lot of health. We don't have a whole lot of protection right now. We have no health packs, so we're going to try and get that. Try and clear this area, I knew he was going to steal that. Avoid that bomb. Alright, let's move in. Try and get this. Hopefully we get the legendary bomb. We'll get the bow. That works too. Love it. Perfect. And just out of range. Check where the fire is. So I like to get in position and not be running from the fire. Uh, it's an added element to the game that's going to really throw it off. <clears throat> For me, uh, when the game plays too fast, or I'm running too much, uh, that's where I end up making mistakes. So, I prefer to try and take a very calculated approach to my gameplay and kind of just assess the risks as I go. So... Just like getting this bomb, there's no real risk. Pepper's a great character for that because you can see who's all around you. Just like that. So, uh, these guys are pretty quick, so I like to try and go for them when they are sitting still. Because they're a lot easier to hit, pick off. So I'd much rather, oh, that was pretty good, there we go. All right, so I don't know if you guys caught that. As soon as I pop up out of the water, first thing I do is tap the spear. Now the spear is going to uh, auto aim. It's gonna just shoot directly at the closest character to you. Uh, we're gonna need this crate for this guy here. So I'm gonna put some separation between us. We're gonna get rid of him. That's one of my favorite items when I'm playing with Pepper, uh, is the crate. Uh, just for bruises like this. So, we're gonna go grab this other health pack. So we left that kind of just sitting there after we kill that other guy in case we need it. So as soon as I pop up out of the water, bomb, spear. So I'm gonna kind of protect the area, push people away from me. Legendary bow at him real quick. There we go. So this is all about timing. We want to avoid the bombs. Uh, he's a little bit further away from us. We're gonna wait till one of those crates break. Actually, what we're gonna do is we are going to. This is the fox here. You can tell by the way he was moving. Trying to pop down here. 
avoid this guy. So it came over here because I got a little bit more water. He's in the water. I want to pop out. Shoot him a couple times. Alright. So we're going to lose health the more we sit in the water, but we're going to lose less, less health in the water than we will with this Bruce jumping on top of us. So we got him taken out. And there we go. And that's the effective use of the snorkel um, on Pepper. And kind of that strategy and that gameplay. Uh, always shoot the bow first when they're long range. Then tap the spear. Uh, it's going to follow that direct line of sight. Then throw the bomb. A um, couple reasons for that. Uh, if you're shooting at a fox or a molly... You're going to hit them with the bow shot first, which is going to take away the most damage. Uh, if they don't move too far, the spear is going to connect. And if they do move far, as soon as you tap that bomb, it's going to populate in an area and they're not going to have their jumping uh, capabilities, their actives. So you should get two hits with the bomb there. And be All right, guys. I uh, want to give a shout out to 50, Levian, and DTX uh, for taking down my pepper. Uh, good job. Uh, I'll be looking for you guys out there in the game uh, to return the favor. Uh, hope you guys found this video uh, informative. Hope that it can help you in your gameplay um, and really help you guys take yourselves to the next level. Uh, like I said, it's all about strategy. Uh, what's right for one person isn't going to be right for the next person. Uh, just want to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm producing some good videos for you guys. Uh, you're finding some value in them, and it's helping you in your gameplay. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys out there. Uh, and as always, uh, happy to be a part of the Rebel Crew. Uh, so if you're looking for a good clan and you want to join us, uh, make sure your trophy count's up there. Request to join. Uh, great group of people, some great fighters, uh, good friends. All right, look forward to seeing you guys out there in Zumba land. And if you guys uh, want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video, comment, share it with your friends. Let me know what you think. Look forward to hearing from you.